This is Richard Jimerson with the American Registry for Internet Numbers. It's December of 2010. I'm here at Internet On this week, and I'm here to talk to people about IPv4 depletion, IPv6 adoption, and the fact that IPv4 only has anywhere between a couple of days to maybe a month before we deplete that at the IANA free pool. The Internet Assigned Numbers Authority is the organization that maintains the free pool of all of the IPv4 address space. And the five regional internet registries worldwide, we're all nonprofit organizations, receive our address space from that organization. When that free pool at the IANA runs out, each regional internet registry will only be left with their inventories as they exist at that moment. We'll have no opportunity to go back and get more IPv4 address space. And our free pool of IPv4 address space will last anywhere from days to a couple of months. It is very important that people pay very close attention to this topic. There will be no more IPv4 address space to be distributed past the next couple of months, the longest period, perhaps a year. And once we reach that point, things are going to happen. They're going to start breaking your networks, perhaps, and you have to be thinking about that. But before we get there, you need to look at IPv6 adoption. IPv6 is the future of the Internet. It's where everything will grow for the Internet going forward. When we do run out of IPv4 here shortly, your internet service provider, your residential broadband provider are going to be faced with a situation where they're going to have to take away the uniqueness of the IPv4 address that you have now. They're going to have to place you in provider side NAT pools so that they can continue to grow their networks because when they add new customers to the network, they have to add them with IPv4 and IPv6. So where you're used to today having low latency, uh, access to all of your ports in IPv4, going into the future, you're going to be sharing ports with users inside of a NAT pool on the carrier side, and that may break some applications, and you're potentially going to see latencies pick up quite a bit, and that's going to slow things down that you do on the network. Now, there's a dire need for content providers and service providers to work together in the common interest of their customer and start deploying IPv6. It is IPv6 that's going to bring us back to a point where latencies are lower again, and we have access to all of our ports, and our applications are working fine. There's a lot of work to get from here to there, but it's time to get started if you haven't already. If you need info, more information, you can contact us at teamaron.net or aaron.net for more information. And I'm sure there's a lot of information on the internet on site uh, from ISOC as well. Thank you very much.